Uh, all right, guys. So I decided that I wanted to recreate this artwork from Doodles by Rye on Instagram. I'll link all of their stuff down below. Um, but I just like saw this and I absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, and I was like, I literally need to put this on my face like right now. Like the little spider girl with the... I just love, love. So I already blocked my brows because that was very time consuming. <laughs> and then I popped in some contacts from Desio. I'll link those. And then I'm starting off my Juvia's Place concealer. Once again, I'll link it because I don't remember any of the colors and stuff. But this is just what I always use when I don't want to use white. You know, something that's going to like be really, really light because it's obviously like way lighter than my skin tone. It's like perfect for Halloween. Uh, but in retrospect, I should not have used just like a concealer uh, because I go in with water-based paints later on. It was so stupid. I just like, this wasn't good planning, okay? <laughs> um... So if you saw the my like the photos that I or the video that I posted on Instagram, I was complaining about how like the eyes got really messed up, the eyes that I draw on my eyelids, and that's because I was using this like concealer first. So it was dumb, but whatever. So I'm going in and sketching out the shape with the dark brow pencil from Sigma, and this took the longest. Like this part took such a long time it was unbelievable because you're like it's very hard to draw like see your actual face when you already have features as a blank canvas so at first I was putting things up like way too high and then I realized and I was like oh this is like not going like this is not going well so I started like erasing things and like redrawing them which is what you should do like take your time with the drawing because that's like gonna be the most important like before you put any details in um, but once I did, like, I only had to do that, like, one time around my eyes, uh, and then I felt like I had, like, the proportions, like, pretty good. They're, they weren't perfect, but, like, they probably could have come down a little bit more, but I was trying to keep in mind that, like, when I opened my eyes, I wanted the contacts to, to work with the look, you know? Which I actually did the same thing with the lips. Like, I made the lips way too big, and I didn't realize until, like, the end of the video. <laughs> so you'll see me, like, fix that later on. So this is where, now I started going in with my Maron palette, my water-based paints, the Paradise Basics palette. Uh, and, I, and I genuinely should have just started with all water-based paints. Like, I just wasn't thinking about it. That's the thing, is like, as far as planning goes, I'm so haphazard. <laughs> like, that's why I can't, I can't film these and do a talk through. Like, I have to do a, uh, a voiceover because like, there, there's just like so much concentration that goes into this but it was so much fun like i have to say it was like it's so it's so much fun to recreate someone else's artwork i feel like it gets me excited and like motivated to create my own you know especially when i just haven't been doing like creative stuff for, for a really long time so this is another part where i messed up i went into the mimi Choi uh maron palette and this is like an oil-based paint like i don't know what i was thinking <laughs> and it was like very obvious i just because i liked that color I was like, oh, this is a great color. So I started going into it and then I was like, wait, what are you doing? It's literally so shiny. Like you can see it under my eyes. It's like way too shiny. Um, and I needed this to be matte. So I was like, oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> so there was a lot of like, you know, wiping stuff off and going back in with water-based paint. Just so much layering, I have to say. Just so much layering. But, um, you know, I don't really do these things that often. So it was a learning experience. I feel like I finally, I don't know, whatever. I'm all over the place. This is Max Smolder lip pencil or eye pencil, eye coal. And then I need something way more black. So I went in with Pat McGrath. And then I went back in with the brow pencil, obviously like adding details. Dude, this was so haphazard. Like I was all over the place just going back and forth, you know? I'm picking up the once again, the Paradise palette from Maron to do the cheeks. Also, I apologize for all the camera shaking. I did not realize that my <laughs> tripod was like up against my desk. So every time I hit my desk, the, tri the camera would shake. It was very annoying. But yeah, so just like details popping in the eyes. Um, so I wanted to match the eyes to the contacts that I was wearing because in the actual painting or drawing, they are like bright yellow. And I ordered bright yellow contacts, but they didn't come in time. So I wanted to make sure that like, I was trying to make this obviously so that like when I opened up my eyes, that would work as well. Um, and I was so happy with the eyes. Like getting, I got them so perfect. Like, I just loved them. I thought, I mean, not that they're like, they're not Mimi Choi, you know, status, but like, I thought I was happy with them with like highlights and details and all that stuff. 
Um, but because like, I think I'd, I'd blended some concealer onto my lids before I started doing this. Now this is all water-based paints, but obviously like if my eyelids have a little bit of oil on them, it's not going to work. Like it's not going to mix, uh, or sorry, it is going to mix. And that's the problem. So anytime I like moved at all, I also should have saved that for like the absolute end. Cause like by the time I got the wig on and the fangs, it was just like so messed up. So you see me like constantly going back and fixing um, but this is where I realized that the lips were like way too big. Like I was starting to look like a clown. So I finished like doing all of the like shading and all of that stuff. And then I was like, okay, I need to like tone this down. So I'm just going in with a clean brush and, you know, making them a little less intense. And then just going back in with that Juvia's Place concealer to like clean up the edges, you know. Um, and then these are water-based paints going in with highlights, bro. It was all, well, actually everything on the lips was water-based paints. Wow. I didn't realize how much I was shaking the camera too that's very annoying it's like constantly moving um now I'm going in with my house labs liner which is honestly my favorite one to add these kinds of details um because I don't know why but other liquid liners seem to dry out when you're using them for these kinds of things oh it's so funny to watch me like blink like that um but that one doesn't like that one stays pretty wet what you know what I mean anyway I'm going in with powder now because I was realizing like oh shit like this is all starting to mix it's like way too wet wet okay stop popping in you know that inner corner highlight because like you gotta do it i'm just trying to bring like a little bit more depth to the eyes uh it was kind of hard to see in the drawing so there's because there's like red in the eyes and like all the stuff and i feel like um i feel like i kind of missed some detail but you know these are flutter lashes in the style takeoff they're gigantic i really wanted to add like a 3d aspect i didn't want to just like draw the lashes on so i thought these would be perfect they're not like exactly like the drawing but they have like really great volume so i just chopped them up and placed them like in the areas you know where she had lashes which i just thought was like it was just cool i don't know like making it a little bit more 3d so i liked i liked this part i thought it was cool popping on the wig which was so cheap <laughs> i got it on amazon it was very last minute and it, it was like a french bob with bangs so i had to kind of tuck the bangs i think it came together like pretty nicely i mean here i'm going back in with powder trying i'm trying to fix those eyes man it was like very frustrating i did a little bit of um photoshop fixing for the photos that i'm posting because i just like was i needed i needed that detail you know anyway I really enjoyed this. I hope that you guys like it. I hope I did the artwork justice. Um, make sure that you go check out Doodles by Rye. I will post, like, link everything down below. Um, happy Halloween. I hope that you guys, you know, have a good Sunday, Halloween, whatever. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye!